Hey, Jim showed once again with XRT Power Systems. I'm here with one of our dealers, Miles Webb, from Webb Service Center in Pennsylvania. And um, Miles just finished a truck uh, recently, an F550 Ford um, Super Duty, and um, he's going to go over it with you. Hi, Miles. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Miles, uh, how long have you been a dealer for XRT? Uh, we've been a dealer for about 11 years. 11 years, awesome. And um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, about Web Service Center and what you guys do? Yeah, we do all type of uh, fire truck repairs. We actually uh, build some fire trucks, and we do other things like towing, uh, service of big trucks, tractor trailers, the whole way down to cars also. Yep, awesome. And um, now tell us about this truck that you, uh, let me get a picture of the truck. This is really nice looking. It's an F550, yes. right? Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the truck? Uh, it's, uh, it has a um, calf system on the back. It also has the XRT matrix system, which is a two tool system coupled along with a smart power generator. Uh, there's a generator up there, right? Yes, there's a generator. Yep. Also has a remote gun on the top. Uh, Wilbur Light Tower. Uh, the company had requested a lot of items put on a small vehicle and there's a lot packed into this truck that you would see probably on a big truck. Uh, most of everything is put into this small truck. That's great. And the reason for the small trucks and, and the reason that they're becoming so popular today is because you know they're small in size, they're compact, they can get into a lot more places, right? Yeah, that and <clears throat> They're a lot more driver friendly. Um, you know, the people don't like to drive. Our volunteers are hard to come by as it is, and bigger trucks sort of intimidate them. Uh, yep. These little trucks, it's it's a lot easier for someone to jump in a little truck. Sure. All right, cool. Can you take us around the truck? Show us. Uh, sure, sure. The XRT system. Yeah. Uh, it starts out with basically just a switch on the dash. Yep. Uh, there's a button. It's marked XRT up there. You arrive on scene, throw that button in, that it energizes the system, which uh, provides power to two tools. We have one mounted on each side of the truck. We have a cutter on this side. Uh, we run TNT. These are high pressure tools. Uh, the O cutter's here. And we also have a spreader on the other side. And so you run two tools off this. Yes. You can tools. run them at the same time. Yes, they can be operating at the same time. And yep. we also have AC power to power our light tower yep. and any other small electrical items we need at the scene. Um, With the 5.5 kW yes. from Smart Power. Right. Yep. Right. And those are both run hydraulically uh, through a PT off the PTO on the transmission. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's the way they operate. Uh, the other thing is, too, as far as space. Uh, that's why we like this system and why we like installing the XRT system is everything is tucked up underneath the truck as far as the pumps and the PTO goes. Uh, the only thing we really have in the compartment that takes up space is, is our valve, which you can see we tucked up under pretty tight up under there by the request of the company. Yep. And then a tank that uh, holds the oil and also the filter. The, um, the remote reservoir, which is right yeah. there tucked up there in the middle. Yep. And I also like the XRT system for that reason. Um, I've checked in many systems and XRT is the only one I've found that filters oil. Um, there's no one else that I know of that filters the oil that go through your tools. So it makes it easy for maintenance by just dropping a filter, changing a filter once a year and then you know you've got clean oil always circulating through your tools. Yep. So what is what is the required maintenance uh, on an XRT power we, system? We like to see uh, the people that come in and get the uh, filter and oil changed at least once a year. And for us to uh, we run pressure checks on all the lines to make sure that you have the required pressure at the end of your reels. Yep. Um, and the other th nice thing about it, if, if you happen to run into some low pressure problem, uh, it's just a matter of an adjustment at, our valve, at the XRT valve system, yep. which takes our guys at the shop or even at the station when we do a service, just a matter of um, minutes to, to uh, adjust the pressure on an XRT. But that's not real common once it's set up, uh, once it leaves our shop. Uh, it's set, the pr pressures are all set at the end of the reels, and very seldom do we run into ever having to adjust pressures. Yep, excellent. 
and it, um, the the uh, other nice thing about our systems is it's compatible with any tool manufacturer um, and and also we can set the pressures for you um, whether it's uh, a 5,000 pound uh, system 10,000 or even the new 10 fives yes yeah and over the years I've installed many many of your systems um, and I have every type of tool that I know of running on your systems I have Hearst, I have Amatro, I have TNT, I have Genesis, um, uh, Amkist, just about any one that, I, that I've ever heard of, I have uh, put those systems on. And it, like you said, it's just a matter of setting the XRT, XRT system up to match the tool of your choice. Yeah. And if you ever want to uh, change tools at any point, um, during the you know the lifespan of the truck, um, it's a it's a very simple procedure um, uh, to uh, to change over um, you know from different tool manufacturers. Um, it, it's just a matter of uh, you know uh, yeah. a few things and and you're good to go. Yeah, we just had that um, last year. We installed one on a local uh, truck here uh, that went from. Um, a low pressure system up to a high pressure. Uh, we removed the system, uh, had it all recalibrated back at the XRT factory. We redid all the hoses on the truck and the hoses on the reel to uh, change them to the uh, high pressure stuff. And it was just a matter of, uh, of that. They, they still have their same system that they started with yep. uh, being used now just to power different tools at different you pressures. You think about the cost savings there, it's substantial. You yes, know? yes having to rip out everything and you don't have to do that and the other thing is too the the ease of main or um, installation of these systems is uh, really simple uh, it's not complicated at all it's just a it's a pump of PTO and and hoses yeah uh, there's really no major uh, wiring or anything like that involved with the system yeah like, right right so that's awesome um, so up here we've got the smart power generator again <clears throat> and let's go over to the other side of the truck and, and pull out the tool on that side this really is a good looking truck thank you So you've got a spreader over here and, and the cutter on the other side? Yes. That's yes. how you have this set up? Yes. And they're both hooked to 100 foot reels, so no matter what side of the vehicle your accident happens to be on, we have plenty of uh, line to reach yep. wherever it needs to be. And you could even, if you wanted to, piggyback some another 100 foot um, you know, uh, of, of hose, right, if you wanted to? Yes, yeah. Excellent. So yeah, with this system, the matrix system, you, you can go up to 200 feet of hose uh, run two tools and your uh, smart power generator um, with no loss of performance in the tools um, it's really a slick setup and again in a small vehicle like this you're saving a lot of valuable space there's a lot of tool a lot of different things uh, in this truck and um, we help you save the space so that you can put you know um, pack more things into the truck and um, you know weight fuel savings all that and and um, so it's pretty neat pretty yeah, slick system yeah, very so nice. miles how do people get a hold of you oh we're uh, located in Greensburg Pennsylvania uh, our telephone is area code 724-837-9774 and also you can find us uh, our website is webs w-e-b-b-s-service s-e-r-v-i-c-e dot com excellent well, Miles, hey, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. And um, you have a really nice looking truck here. And um, you're not only the the service center, but you're also a volunteer fireman, correct? Yes, yeah. Yes, I so do. you actually work on this truck? Yes, I do. Yep. yep. Super. And this, this station in West Point, uh, this is actually their second XRT system. They started out with a combi unit on their full-size rescue truck. Um, and they liked it so well that was one of the requests to uh, 
have the XRT system on this new truck when it was built. How long have they had the uh, XRT uh, combi on, on their big truck here? That, that system there was put in uh, almost 10 years ago. Yeah. That one there. And have they had, you know, if they've had any problems? No, they've had no problems at all with that system. That's why they liked it so well. There you have it, guys. XRT Power Systems and Web Service Center.